Namaste friends. Today I am going to explain to you the shoulder movements that come into effect when you practice certain positions in Surya Namaskar. So I talk about four different positions of shoulder, the shoulder blade, which is called the scapula. So one is protraction, second is retraction, third is elevation and fourth is depression. So just observe the shoulder blades. So protraction means going away from the center of the spine. So the shoulder blade has to go away from the center of the spine. And if I take it closer to the spine, you can see the shoulder blade blades close, going closer to the spine, that's called retraction. So protract, retract, protract, retract. Now, elevation and depression. For example, now, if I lift my arms up, the shoulder blades move closer to the ears, little up. So this is elevation. If I drop it, it's depression. Elevation, depression. Elevation, depression. Elevation, depression. So, protract, retract, elevate or elevate and depress. So, these are the four movements. So, for example, when you do uh, Vrikshasana, so when you take your arms up, you are actually elevating. The shoulder blades are going closer to the ears. Okay. When you stay in Tadasana, you are actually depressing. So, the uh, the shoulder goes away from the ears. Now I will explain this in context of Surya Namaskara positions. The first one I will show will be Atho Mukha Observe, in Atho Mukha protraction and elevation comes into effect. Observe that changes there. So I am in Atho Mukha So I have to protract. So I have to Take the shoulder blades away from the spine and elevate. So I have to take it closer to the ears and take it away. So this is Atavukashwarasana. Uh, if I do reverse, like if I go closer to the ear, it becomes depression. And if I could go closer to the spine, this is retraction. This is wrong. If you do either of them, it's wrong. So you have to protract and elevate. Don't retract and depress. Elevate. Protract. Okay. Now, when you talk about Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana, the protraction changes to retraction and elevation remains there. You can see here. So, in Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana, I have to open the chest. To open the chest, I have to retract. So, I have to bring the shoulder blades closer to the spine. But the elevation stays there. Elevation stays there. I cannot depress it. You have to elevate but uh, retract. Don't protract. And neither depress. Elevate, retract. So I hope you understood the differences between protraction retraction, elevation and depression of the shoulders. Thank you.